right? So if, if you are comparing a string to a number, that is going to fail because those are two different types. Does that make sense? Yeah, that does. Okay. So if you Hey, I'm TJ and welcome back to my channel where I'll be sharing with you coding tutorials and other technical insights to help you along in your coding journey. If you haven't already, make sure you like and subscribe to this channel. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you a clip of a mentor session that I had with one of my students where we walked through solving a JavaScript algorithm problem together. If you don't know, I teach people how to code in my coding and career prep program. And one of the most important things that you can do to help you in your coding journey is to have a mentor that'll help you along the way and be there for you to ask questions to and to also work with you when it comes to doing different coding problems and challenges. So check out this clip where I'm working with one of my students to solve a JavaScript algorithm problem. Excuse so, me, what I have so far. It seems like you have everything. You're just you're just kind of missing one thing. Okay, so to kind of help you understand this, can you just copy this code? And then yep. let's go to JS Ben and play around with this a bit. All right, so can you console log people? Yeah, hit run. All right, so you see how people is an array of objects. You know how typically will I have maybe like an array of strings? You know, an array is a comma separated list of items, right? So the first item in our array is this object here. The, the second item is this one. The third is this. Can you console log the first item? Would it be index then? A exactly. Remember, okay. anytime you are working with arrays, it doesn't matter what you have in them. Arrays are zero base index, no matter what. Okay. Okay. So do you see how now when you like put the index for zero, it just printed out the John Wayne object, right? Right. So can you now console log uh, the the first name? Um, I mean, would it be? That's just where I get caught up. Would be people dot first name or? No? Well, so what is people? An array. Right. Exactly. So that property you're looking for first name is that a property that exists on the array or on the object? Uh, an array. Uh, or on the object. Sorry. Yeah, on, on the object, right? So this. This is the object, and this object has first name property, last name property, and age property. So would you be calling first name on people or on the actual object? On the object. On the object. And right now, we have the object, right? Because when we did console log at index of zero, it gave us our object. Okay. So you would now call first name by putting period here and do first name. And if that doesn't work, you could do the bracket notation. You see that? Okay. okay. Uh, and then can, can you uh, change this to use the bracket notation? Because right now this is what's called the dot notation where you are accessing the properties by using dot. So what are you trying to do here? You are trying to access the first name property, right? But yes. you, see, you see how first name looks the exact same way that you wrote people. And people is a variable. So the way that you're writing this, the it, you you don't have a variable name first name. If you're trying to access this here, um, oh, what you gotta put, I gotta put uh, quotation marks in there. Exactly, exactly. So so let's try that out. Boom. So those are the two different ways that you can access properties inside of objects. But now let, let's just, let's just kind of think of how you could have kind of like figured this out, right? So you are trying to get the first name property inside of, of the object that you have. So can you open up a new tab and let's just look up JavaScript, get property in object. Is that, is that something that you would have like thought, you know, like that sen sentence? Uh, I'm trying to get the property in this object. Yeah, I was typing a different way, like how to how to iterate. I think I was putting um, how to how to iterate through an array of multiple objects, like how to iterate through every element. I was, that's what I was like googling, and uh, I was just not. I wasn't getting it all the way. Okay, so 
the term to iterate just means to to loop. So the same way that you loop through an array of strings, it's the same way you will loop through an array of objects. You get what I'm saying? Because like the string is just an item inside of the array. The same way that the object is just an item inside of the array. So the, the loop doesn't care. Like, you know, the loop is just looping through items inside of an array. It doesn't care whether it's a string or an object. And that's what you care about. You get what I'm saying? But the loop in terms of just looping, it's just going to loop through whatever is inside of this array that's separated by commas. As you can see, having a mentor to help you on your coding journey is very important to making sure that you fully understand all of the different technical concepts that you're learning while also giving you someone that you can ask clarifying questions to and work with to practice these skills. So if you are interested in learning how to code and becoming a software engineer, definitely check out the Roots Technology Coding and Career Prep Program and learn to code with me as your mentor. So hope to hear from you soon and to help you get started on your coding journey.